Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. We've got a spray session for you today, and we're going to continue along with our uh, subscriber recommended videos. And several weeks back, we did the Tennessee Shed version one. We've done Tennessee Tennessee Shed version two. So today, we got Tennessee Shed version three. Uh, it's very similar to version one, but we're going to be doing it in the real scale version. Uh, giving this bait some very high detailed scale patterns, 3D scales, matter of fact. So, uh, I've done some of these videos in the in the past. I'll make sure I link those in the description below. Uh, also, wanted to just remind you that there's uh, chapter links down here. So, as you watch the video all the way through, uh, and you're you know needing to go back, uh, it'll be easy to find some of those. Uh, particular areas in the video that I think that uh, you'd be interested in and in going back to and rewinding so we've got a couple of baits out here we got our paint loaded up let's spray some paint Okay, we've got our 2.5 uh, square bill in here. I've got the white loaded up. We're gonna do our base coat. Again, when doing the real skill version that I do, the way I do it anyway, I'm gonna shoot straight through that mesh, not real heavy. You don't want it to run underneath that netting. You want to leave that clear bait underneath there. Second bait we're going to do here today is a great big deep diver. Knock off of the pro. What is this? Fat Papa or something? Yeah, it's Fat Papa. Man, you gotta have a big hoop for this one. Okay, so the next thing we need to do is we're going to get our uh, pearl pineapple loaded up in the airbrush and we're going to spray from the back of the bait halfway down that the lateral line to the shoulder at about a 35 to 45 degree angle. I just place my fingers on that and elevate it. Okay, we're gonna come back just along the very top edge. I got this magnet a little close here, but we're, I think we can get down in there to it with our uh, moss green. We're going to go at the same angle this time. And just hit that top edge.
So that's what it's going to look like up until this point. And we will uh, we'll heat set this from a from a distance so we don't mesh melt our uh, our mesh there. And uh, once we get that, we'll take it out, put it on our uh, Exacto knife handles, and we'll finish this thing. Okay, so I'm gonna give you a look at these after I've taken them out of the hoops. This side's pretty good. Um, we didn't leave a lot of white at the backside edge, but basically that's what it looks like when you first pull it out. So you gotta go back over, add a little white, definitely gonna darken the back up. Now, this bait on the other hand, uh, again, not real satisfied with it. This side is not too bad. Uh, it's got some pretty good looking scaling on it. Uh, this side, you can see what's happened right in here. Uh, well, what has happened, I don't know that you can see it, is when I probably was heat setting that, that netting shrank a little bit. And so we've got white edges. We don't have the clear dark edges below it. So not perfect. Uh, I'll clean that up just a little bit, but again, not super satisfied with the way that one came out. But So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna turn our pressure back up for one thing. We've got the white still loaded in our brush. And we're just gonna knock out some of those scalings on the belly. And get a good white belly. And go ahead and go down the back. Definitely not as perfect as I would like it. So I'll just fish these myself or give them to a buddy of mine. Uh, wouldn't sell this one to anybody, although it's it's not too bad. Uh, I just like a little more detail in those scales than what's up there. And we've got our moss green we're going to start darkening that back up and we don't want to get any of this down on the sides we've got our sides where we want them so we're really trying to trying to really do here is just get a get this darkened up Okay, so we're going to switch colors. All we have left is the black shed spot. And on this particular pattern, I go a detail orange throat followed by a little bit of crimson red. So we just want to hit our throat area with the orange. I think on this pattern I'm going to come up those gills just a little bit.
throw it off with a little red. So there you have it. Almost, we gotta do a little bit of black for a little shed dot. strategically place this around some of that white stuff right there. It's not too bad. It'll but it could be a lot better. And the last thing we're gonna do is dust that with our pearl white. Hit all of it. Kind of dull those colors out just a little bit. Give the bait a little sheen. Makes it a little more lifelike. So there you have version three of the Tennessee Shed Pattern. And this is the one I really like, the yellow with the green back. Um, I've caught a lot of fish on this. This is an excellent color. Anyway, just giving you another little close-up look of uh, the finished product and the real scale version. So if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't already subscribed, please consider subscribing to the channel where you give educational content every Saturday on painting crankbaits. Uh, we've got do-it-yourself videos of how to build stencils. We've got a complete tutorial for the beginner. Check out the description, video description. We've got a lot of links to a lot of the products that I use uh, provided there below, the paints, the airbrushes, just about everything that's in this uh, particular shop. Uh, we're gonna set up chapters for this. So uh, colors that went into this, again, pearl white, Pearl Pineapple, Moss Green, Detail Orange, and Wicked Crimson, and Black for the Shed Spot. We'll put some eyes on this, uh, we'll get the clear coat on it, and we'll shoot some B-roll photos at the end of the video, so make sure you stay and look for that. Till next week, signing out.